In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 patch, as well as what to expect this week. Let's get into the video. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into this video. All right, so this one is pretty straightforward. Testing focus, personal instance, hangers, freight elevators, storage access, hangar decorations, cargo hauling, not being tested as cargo commodity rebalance, as well as blockade runner. Tons of known issues. We're not going to cover that. Under features and gameplay, they did make one update. It says they made further aerodynamic update to enable ships to yaw more in atmosphere. So now that's going to be the Gladiator, the Hawk, the Hornet, as well as the Origin 300i. Tons of bug fixes for this one. They fixed an issue for rest stops where after an area is streamed out of the server, open hangar doors will be closed when streamed in again, but will still be open on the newly connected client. They fixed an issue where after a vehicle is docked and then is stored at the space station, if the vehicle is spawned in a hangar, the ship engine will never function. That, uh, that's a pretty bad bug. They fix an issue where the self-land cargo elevator signs are blank and missing information. So now this is pertaining to the personal hangars. They fix an issue uh, where while in your personal hangar, you can hear the sounds from other players' hangars. That's a good fix. They fix an issue for item banks having incorrect scaling, making them difficult and sometimes impossible to use. They fix an issue where cargo haul emissions do not give reputation. They also fix another issue where uh, you cannot pick up weapons from free elevators in Armistice Zone as they lack interaction. Cannot pick up weapons. So when you're in your persistent hangar, you can pick up weapons. Can we use it in our hangar? That would be pretty cool if we can use our weapons in our persistent hangar. Just to just, you know, just having like a little fire range, that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like to use that. Um, they fixed an issue uh, where personal hangar ASAP toggle in and out of focus when being used. <laughs> I thought they fixed that already. They fixed an issue where personal hangars can spawn with no collision. They fixed an issue where freight elevators at scrapyard have no cargo grid. They fixed an issue where you are unable to lower the cargo elevator with cargo attached they fix an issue they fix an issue where when a player is neutralized a bounty target the mission will not complete they fix an issue where a floating triangle screen entity attaches to a ship skeleton at the root when the ship takes off they fix an issue where you cannot enter text in the chat app and along with this is two client crashes two server crashes and two hybrid server crash fixes all right, so what's going on this week? Um, this coming Thursday, we can expect a roadmap roundup. So I'm hoping we can get some more Stars and Alpha 4 Pernod, uh features being added or at least uh, some elaboration on the currently added features. Um, on Thursday, we can expect uh, Inside Star Citizen. This time around, it's going to be for new cargo specific missions and the blockade runner dynamic event and then on friday we can expect star season live making missions to uh q a so um, if you're interested uh, make sure to tune in for that so before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruited new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one